Tuesday night storm damage was widespread, but one common denominator was the cleanup work. Kevin and TJ Pendergrass live just off County Road 5 near Lake Miltona. They worked to clean up tree limbs that not only crashed into a workshop, somehow snapped a flagpole the couple put up when their son went into the service. Well, we have a flagpole in the front yard and we've had a flag flying with the light on it since he left for boot camp actually, but the whole time he was in Afghanistan, we flew a Marine flag too, and it just seems ironic that we'd lose our flagpole on flag day. On the shores of Lake Ida, more cleanup is taking place. Although a pontoon cover will need replacing, near the house, this tree fell on either side of this patio fireplace. Family members say that will be good news for the owners when they return from overseas. Just down the road along Gerke's Point Road, things were not as fortunate. Nancy Anderson was home alone last night while her husband is on a fishing trip to Canada. They've lived here on Ida for 15 years. She describes what it was like when the storm approached. I heard it last night. I heard the roaring um, like I've heard people describe before. And I went into an inside bathroom and the whole house shook. And it's a log home. I've never felt it shake ever. So it was pretty scary, and then I got up this morning at 5 and saw all the destructions. The Andersons' home is on a 100-foot lot, yet they lost more than 15 mature trees in the storm. Friends came to help her with the cleanup. While Nancy is very thankful no one was injured and their home is not damaged, she found it interesting that the one tree she asked her husband to remove before leaving on his trip stood proudly amid the debris, with its dead limbs fluttering in the breeze. Linemen for Runestone Electric Association worked all night to restore power, first with the work that needed fixing near Hancock, all the way over to this single phase line near Lake Miltona, nearly 15 hours later. Well, what happened right away, we get the calls, our substations are out. So all this kind of stuff, all our down line stuff, we don't know what's going on because our substation's down. So we met with Ottertail Power Company, Gray River, River Energy, our power supplier, to get our substations energized. And then we work down line, usually starting at the three phase. Now we're down to stuff like this, our single phase. Unfortunately, REA says the extent of the damage will make it difficult for them to get all of the power restored until Thursday afternoon. The work looked never ending for most cleaning up today, but the common theme for all involved was their thankfulness that no one was injured. For the Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Kurkowski.